mission, friends. Not surprisingly, thoughts of gratitude come to mind a little more frequently during the month of November. Gratitude is the state of being grateful or thankful, and it's an emotion and a posture that is exemplified throughout Scripture. In fact, the Psalms are particularly rich with David's songs of thanksgiving to God. Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 136 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Indeed, we thank you, God. I feel immense gratitude as I reflect on all that God has done and continues to do through the Evangelical Covenant Church. How thankful I am for you, the body of covenant believers, as you fulfill the work of the Great Commission. Collectively, we have so much to be grateful for, including our ability to proclaim and demonstrate the whole gospel, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with a hurting world. The covenant is intentionally equipping churches to share the gospel, including through the recent Bless Covenant Evangelism Conference, which you can find online. In addition, we're grateful for God's provision as we serve communities across the United States and Canada through the local church, where we are able to meet both spiritual and practical needs. This is due in part to our missional grants. I'm thankful for our pastors who shepherd their congregates and neighbors with love and compassion as demonstrated through scripture. <laughs> Recently, my wife Julie and I had the opportunity to visit with a small community in Minnesota who recently celebrated 150 years of ministry as a church. This rural church has faithfully served its community with worship, prayer, and fellowship, ensuring that no one in this area is without a place to hear about God. If you are a church in a rural setting, know that I am grateful for your work as we aim to reach every corner of North America. Another thing we're grateful for as a denomination is the ability to gather together in person for Midwinter 2022 this January. This Midwinter Conference will be our first public in-person denominational gathering in two years and will take place in Chicago January 24th through the 28th. We're so excited to be back together in one place and to have the chance to connect with one another face to face. The theme is Mission Through the Mosaic and we're lining up some excellent speakers for plenary sessions and workshops. Pastors, you don't want to miss this midwinter gathering. If you've attended midwinter in the past, you know that it is such a meaningful time for our ministerium to connect. We'll take great joy in gathering together safely, following local, state, and federal guidelines. But for those who are unable to attend in person, the main sessions will be live streamed. Online registration for Midwinter 2022 is now open at covchurch.org backslash midwinter. And you can take advantage of early registration through the end of November. We have many things to be grateful for. And I am for each one of you and your ministry of service to the covenant. May you be encouraged by Colossians 3 verse 15 and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. God bless you, mission friends.